A really helpful feature in Pymol is hide unselected. Just select what you want, come over here, go to hide, unselected, and voila, everything else has disappeared. Now you have your selection and you can click away from it and you will still have this showed up here. And if you were to then click back on your selection, it would be the same selection. But if you were to want to come to the selection again, you would want to then rename this as a new selection. You can either rename it here or in the command line. Um, so if you do it in this manual way, just backspace, I'm going to name this um, NAD monomer and voila, I've saved my selection. I'm also going to save this as a scene. Um, so I'm going to save this as a scene because now what's going to happen is I can come back to it later. So say I want to come over here and I want to view the whole structure again, which I can conveniently do because I've saved that as a scene as well. Well, now maybe say I decide I want to show the monomer again. And so I come over here and I click select, I select that object and you can see that it's going to, that'll go to my selection. But if I remove the, the part that it was a selection from, now you'll see it's totally disappeared. The reason is because the selection is part of this bigger molecule. When we hit the rest of the molecule, we were okay. We were still able to see what we wanted. But then if we were to basically come back over here and so we're on our selection and we go to hide on selection, selected, well, if I hadn't had this scene saved over here, it would be kind of a pain to have to go back and go show, okay, I want to show us cartoon, but then, oh man, the NAD, that doesn't show us cartoon, so I've got to show that as a stick, but I want to make sure that I only show the NAD as stick, because if I show the whole thing as stick, that's going to not be what I want. So I come over here, I select the NAD, and I show that as sticks. So that was a bit of a pain. Say I want to easily be go able to go back to just this NAD monomer. Well, what I can do is instead of just making it a selection, I can actually go to action and I can copy the object and I can make a new object. It's gonna make this new object. I can rename this object, action, rename object. And I'm just going to name this as um, NAD monomer object or obj. So now you can see over here. Now you see that this is kind of not showing in parentheses. Everything in parentheses is just the selection, whereas an object is independent. I can actually go and I can delete, I can unshow the rest of the structure, and I'll just have this as a separate object. I can even, if I want to go to file, export structure, export molecule, and I can actually go and save this molecule as a PDB file. Then I can open this PDB file no matter what I want, and it will just be that single monomer with the NAD because that is part of the object as well. Note that here, if I were to go back to my original object, you could still see that it was there. However, if I had instead extracted the object, so I have that selection, and now I go to add a um, extract object. Well, now what's going to happen is it'll be in that object. But if I come back here to my original file, it won't be there anymore because I've actually extracted it to a new object as opposed to just copying it to a new object. So I'm just going to undo that because that's not really what we wanted. Just like you can copy to a new object, you can also copy to an existing object. Say I have the structure of malate dehydrogenase bound to malate. And I want to copy this molecule of malate into my other object. Well, what I can do now is I can basically select that malate from the file that I have. So I just either click on it or I select it up here. Now we have a new selection. I can name the selection malate if I want, or what I could do is I could just go to action, copy to object, and copy to this NAD monomer object. Now you can see that my NAD monomer object 
has both the malate and the NAD in it, as well as the chain. So this is basically how you can copy things to new molecules. You can uh, hide everything that you don't want. So for example, if I only wanted to show the malate and the NAD and not the rest of the protein, what I could do is I could come over here, I could go to that selection and go to hide unselected. Now I'm just seeing these molecules. But if I wanted to show the protein again, well, now what I could do is I could just go to um, show cartoon and that'll show everything else. But if there was stuff I didn't want to show, that could be a pain. So what I could have done is if I really wanted to just show those molecules alone, I could have saved that as a scene over here that I could then return to in the future. So note too that you can come back to all of these scenes because you had them saved. You can now return to these um, and your new object um, you can return to here as well without having to worry that if you click something else off, it would be gone. But because it's an independent object, if I make changes to this, it won't make changes to the bigger, to the bigger um, file. Whereas if it was just a selection, so if I have it over here, um, where I just have this selection. So I'm going to turn off this object. Now I'm dealing with that original file. And I'm dealing with this um, demonomer selection, which was this selection. Now say I wanted to go and I want I make a change to this selection. So if I were to make a change and maybe I wanted to color this, color this red. And I color this red. And now I come and I show the rest of this protein. So I come over here and I want to show this as cartoon and I show all the subunits again. So this subunit is still going to be showing as red. Even though I changed it in the selection. However, if I were to come to this object, so remember in this object, we just have this one subunit. If I were to take the subunit and now I were to go and I were to color it, uh, maybe I want to color it gray. Or maybe I kind of color it this white color. Now, if I go back to my original structure, well, right now it looks like it's changed because this object is just overlaid on it. But if I were to turn this object off, you would see that it was still that red that I had colored it to before. So when you make changes to an object, it doesn't affect the thing that it came from. But when you make changes to a selection, it does affect the thing that it came from. So again, select what you want, hide, unselected. If you just want to kind of hide other stuff within the, within the bigger picture. But then you're losing the rest of the bigger picture or the rest of the thing. So that's why it comes in really handy to have saved it as a scene as well. So you can more easily return to that view that you had before. And if you really want to keep going back to things, you can save it as a scene. Um, and you can also export it. Um, you can extract, copy it to a new object. So remember that was like action. And then um, copy to object. You can make a new object. You could copy to an existing object. When you have an object that you want, you can go to file, export structure, export molecule. Um, you can have it then select your object that you want here, or you can even just do a selection, export a selection as a PDB file. If you have multiple PDB files, you can also do that. Um, so lots of great ways to kind of save things that you could then return to later.